Shelt A and Shelt B had 75 kg and 54 kg of flour, respectively. After both shops sold the same amount of flour, Shelt A had four times as much flour as Shelt B. How much flour did each shop sell? Okay, there's a typo error here. This should be flour, not rice. Okay, so please change it. All right, so for this question, Notice that they gave us the actual values of each shop at first. Okay, so the word respectively means the first mass goes to shop A, the second one belongs to shop B. Okay, so the actual masses are given. Okay, no sort of comparison statement um, provided for us here. Okay, and they said both shops sold the same amount of flour. In the end, okay, I got this word four times. It's a comparison word there. All right. So should I be using model or should I be using rec uh, before change after to record down the information? So in this case, a before change after information, before change after data diagram would be more helpful since they already give you actual masses at first. All right. So unless, let's say like, um, they give you a comparison statement, maybe for example, say shop A had um, three times as much flour as shop B at first. Okay, then in the end, they also give you this word like four times still there. Then that one, if you do model, it will be more helpful because you've got comparison at the start, comparison at the end, you know. But for this one, because actual masses are already given from the beginning. Okay. So we are going to do before change after diagram. All right. And later on, we are going to ask ourselves this part. Both shops sold the same amount of flour. From this phrase, there is something that remains the same throughout. Okay. So we'll focus on that later on. So let's start off by recording shop A and B, each, um, what is the amount that they each have? 75 and 54. So no need for any sort of model for this, okay? Because these are the values already given. Just straight away record that down. Okay, and now the change is that both shops sell the same amount of flour. So I draw an arrow, okay, to show the change. All right, so I'm just going to erase that since it's showing. Okay, so they sell the same amount of flour. So if you sell, means your flour decreases in mass, right? So if it decreases, it's a minus question mark. I don't know how much they sell, so it's a question mark here. Same for shop B. So we call this the change. Now, and at the end, whatever is here is the after, okay? Whatever happens after the change. So the after part is what, uh, what we know from here. A had four times as much as B in the end. So with this four times, you can just draw a simple model. A has four units, B has one unit. So this is the after information. And there you go, your before, your change and the after all recorded neatly down. Okay, and the next thing is we are going to check with ourselves what stays the same th throughout this whole thing, throughout the whole uh, situation. So both shops sell the same amount. Okay, this two question mark has to be the same value. Now, this simply means that the difference between A and B will stay the same difference as in the end. All right, so that means the difference at the start and the difference later on after the change will remain the same throughout. Now, for those who don't understand why this happens, all right, let me just show you a simple analogy here. Okay, so let's say um okay let's say i have two two students student a and um student b just an example okay so student a at first has maybe say um 20 marks and student b has 15 marks okay now the change now is that the teacher is going to deduct two marks from each of them okay maybe because they found out some mistake in the marking or whatsoever so minus two marks minus two marks so notice that the difference between A and B was five marks difference. Okay, this was at the start. Now each of them are going to lose two marks. Deduct two marks from each of them. Now whatever is left, A has 18, B has 13 marks. Can you see the difference 18 minus 13? It's still a five marks difference in the end. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to explain to you. When each person or each group loses the same quantity, the difference between both groups will remain the same. Now, even if this, if, even if this is a plus two, plus two, it will also be the same. Now, let's try it. Plus two, plus two. For example, plus two, same quantity, but it's like increased now. This will become 22. This will become 17, right? Can you see 22 and 17 is still a five marks difference? 
All right, so so long as it's an increase or decrease in the same quantity, the difference remains the same throughout. All right, so it's an unchanged difference concept. So if it's an unchanged difference, now what we're going to do is we're going to find out what is the difference here. Okay, so you work on that later. And this difference in units, 4U minus 1U, I see a difference of 3 units here. This step is actually not necessary. So long as you can tell the 3 units difference, I think that's good enough. All right, and let's work out what is the value of this three units difference. So like we agree on the difference at the start, you know, is what we're going to calculate because that will be also the difference in the end. So 75 minus 54, your 21 kg difference here will still be a 21 kg difference here. Okay, so if you would like to um, write down in the before portion, difference is 21. Difference here also still 21. You can do this. Okay, definitely go ahead and write this down. All right. And of course, from there, we can see that we are supposed to find one unit then. One unit, just do the division. So every one unit is 7 kg. So please annotate down in the model 7 kg. As we can see, one unit 7 kg is short beast after. Right. Okay, so every one unit 7 kg. Now, once you have one, found one unit, we write the question, how much did each short sell? Okay, so does it matter which shop we are trying to find what they sell? So whatever they sell is the question mark here, right? Okay, does it matter whether I use shop A or shop B to work this out? Now it doesn't matter because remember both shops sold the same amount. So it's up to you to decide if you want to use A or you want to use B. Now, but of course, the simpler one is to use B because why? I already have shop B after value. I already have shop B before value. If you would like to work with shop A, you still have to go and do 7 times 4 units, okay? Which is a bit more troublesome, but yes, it's fine as well. Okay, no issues. Both should give you the same answer, mm -hmm. right? So I'm just going to use shop B, okay? So I'm just going to highlight everything that I have in shop B. Um, let me use a pink highlighter. Okay, so shop B. Just focus on B. Don't look at A. Now, look at B before and B after. I have B before is 54 kg. But after it sells some away, it's left with only 7 kg in the end. So that must have meant that, okay, I simply take 54 minus 7 to find the, 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 the flower that yes, um uh, sold away. Okay, so 54. All right, minus 7. That will be 47 kg. Now, let's try if we use shop A, yeah? Okay, so if I were to use shop A, let's see what happens. So if I were to use shop A, okay, so this step is still the same, now, right? Then here, if I were to work with A, I can find A after. Shop A after is 4 units, right? So 7 times 4, which is 28 kg. So this whole thing is 28 kg. Now, then look at A's before and A's after. Can you see to find the question mark that A sell away? 75 minus 28, which will also give me the same answer, 47 kg. All right. So I hope this is clear to you. Okay, this is an unchanged difference concept. 